In my last overhaul, I mentioned how incomplete the Institute felt as a faction. After siding with them, they proceeded to just live out their days underground, without having any real impact on the Commonwealth post-main story. They are void of any actual goals, and we never have any say in what the Institute does as director, save for one decision over prioritizing weapon advancement or synth production, and even then the decision feels weightless. As many encouraged another faction overhaul, I realized that I could have done the more popular Brotherhood or Minutemen, and I will in due time. However, I turned my head towards arguably the worst faction of Fallout in terms of depth. The Railroad, to put it simply, is underdeveloped in every way possible. You meet them at their weakest point, and therefore don't have much ground to stand on whatsoever. You single-handedly do most of the heavy lifting for them, and it almost feels as though they solely rely on you. What's sad is that the premise is really interesting. A group of people all brought together to fight what has all affected them in front of a backdrop of secret codes, stealth, and covert tactics. Here is where you could truly feel like James Bond, but instead it amounts to you realizing again and again that you are apparently the only one capable of doing anything. This list aims to fix those problems. Without further ado, here is the railroad overhaul. This one isn't exactly specific to the railroad. However, Silent Marksman is a great steampunk noir outfit that fits well with the secret agent aesthetic. After exiting Vault 111, you need to look no further than the little watch post set up by Deacon with the railroad symbol. Behind it is a location called Abandoned Corvega. Here you simply have to loot the trunk and there you go. Keep in mind, this outfit works exclusively for males. If you wish to wear one of the vanilla suits or glasses instead, then I recommend Cool Charisma Clothes. This is a very straightforward mod that adds plus three charisma to suits and tuxedos and plus one for sunglasses. For the rest of the railroad, Look At Me is a mod series for every faction that aims to upgrade their outfits. This gives railroad agents these nice looking coats with a harness and pouches which come in a light and dark variant. Desdemona has her own unique noir look, which is the handmaiden outfit, which must be downloaded separately. The other key members all adorn fedoras and formal attire. The designated heavy outfit worn by Glory is the dark coat with leather armor attached. These can also be found on the corpses while on your way to clear out the switchboard, making it consistent with the story. Already with a designated wardrobe, the railroad looks a lot more put together. Speaking of the switchboard, doesn't anyone find it odd that even after the Institute was destroyed, the railroad makes no attempts to reclaim their own HQ at all? Understandably, even with clearing out the synths, if the Institute still existed, it wouldn't be wise to go back to a place that they actively monitor. However, after they're gone, there's no reason not to. Switchboard by Eleonora aims to make it a functioning settlement. You can download the semi-clean version, which is somewhat tidied up, but leaves most things intact, or the ultra-clean version that wipes everything in the building, making it pretty much a clean slate for you to put whatever you want in it. One thing to keep in mind is that when you build things, they appear invisible until you leave and come back. This is definitely annoying, but I don't think there's any way to fix this. No Random Mercer Safe House Location is a mod that does exactly what it says it does. You can finally choose what settlement you want your railroad safe house to be at. From here, you can select what settlement you want during installation. There also happens to be a settlement blueprint called Immersive Spectacle Island Mercer Safe House. Combining these mods together with, of course, transfer settlements installed gives you a pre-made location that is lore friendly and well put together. While it only focuses on the dilapidated house and leaves most of the island alone, it makes sense though since they wouldn't want to paint themselves as a big target. After all, they try to do things undercover. There's a small farm on the hill, and near the shipping containers are more turrets. Ultimate HD flag replacer switches out the fungus yellow and dull paint for a more olive drab and solid look. In addition to the Mercer safe house, we have Railroad Hideout. This features a small bunker that can be entered through the door inside the Bunker Hill Monument. 
the key to which is located on the Railroad HQ main table. While it doesn't come with a workbench, I don't see why you can't spawn one in using a mod or console command. It features the same catacomb brick walls and gives you a good reason to visit Bunker Hill more often. Railroad Redone aims to overhaul the HQ by actually giving it some soul. In the base game, I remember not caring much at all about it and found that besides the chalkboard, the room was pretty uninteresting. It cleans up some of the trash and gives each of the major characters their own living space. This also includes your own living quarters with workbenches and a power armor station. Pam's room is given more terminals and a fusion core generator, and across from that is a new room for more bedding. It does just enough in making the railroad feel more organized and capable without taking away from that feeling that the faction is still comparatively small. Now it's time for a huge change to transportation. Abandoned Hub is an overhaul of an overhaul of another mod originally called Underground Railroad. This is the so far final version boasting a fast travel system made up into one central hub connected via manholes. By exploring the Commonwealth's broken roads, you'll come across these periodically, opening up new locations to where you can travel very easily between each zone. This makes a lot of sense realistically as going through the sewer system while dark would be a lot safer than trying to navigate hostile areas above ground. This is, as said previously, a great advantage to those on survival, allowing for a fast travel system, albeit less direct, but still one nonetheless. Well, this is not a railroad directed mod, it still fits the discrete theme we're going with, and it is a settlement, so there's no reason why you can't decorate it with railroad memorabilia. It also works considering that in the vanilla game, you use the sewers to get to the switchboard, so the railroad is canonically known to have used them. Continuing the theme of actually changing the railroad as a faction and not just a visual way, we have railroad perks. This restores the four perks that were cut from the railroad, dished out via a scavenger hunt. The first clue is in the Old North Church on the podium. From here, you go around finding these notes containing the perks. You have the Heavy, which adds a 10% damage increase to Institute enemies. In the Blood, inspired by Tinker Tom, adding a 5 plus resistance to radiation, but you lose 5 HP. Secret Agent, Stealth Boys, last 15% longer. And finally, Station Master increases your selling prices by 5% permanently. This gives you another reason to actually side with the Railroad. Finally, last but certainly not least, is the biggest mod on this list. Subversion, the Institute Railroad Alliance alternate ending, that's a mouthful, is a mod that allows for various different avenues for the end game to flesh out the story and make your actions actually feel like they're worth something. As a disclaimer, this does not change the vanilla endings. Those are still left as is. Instead, dialogue options are added, allowing for you to reform the Institute and free the sense, or fail to do so, and kill the board of the Institute and rule alone. There are a ton of new quests added, and companions, and the level of depth is just astounding. This mod does a service not just to the Railroad, but all the other factions as well. I only include this because in the vanilla story, not being able to convince Desdemona that as the director, you can reform the Institute rather than destroy it is just plain stupid. Number one, the railroad isn't really strong enough to go toe to toe with the Institute. On top of that, if the railroad has a shot at repurposing the Institute and helping the sense that currently exist without destroying all the research as to how they were created in the first place, then I think Desdemona would see this as a much more sane approach. With all this said and done, that is the railroad overhaul. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.